Hello everyone. I'm back with another uh, Olga tutorial. And in this tutorial, I would like to speak about uh, shutdown and blowdown uh, scenario using uh, manual controller and PID controller. So as you can see in this uh, model that I have already set up, I have a gas condensate a condensate pipeline of uh, something like 75 kilometers with all those up and down you see in the picture as well and then I have uh, pressure inlet and pressure outlet as my boundary conditions uh, the pressure in the inlet is set to 100 bar and the temperature is set to 48 and the pressure to uh, onshore uh, at the outlet is set to 60 bar at temperature 10 degrees of centigrade uh, I have also two valves in the beginning and the uh, at the end of the pipeline and then I have a leak uh, which is connected to the manual controller so the leak is supposed uh, uh, to leak the, the hydrocarbon contents of this gas condensate line to a second line which is called blow down line and this blow down line is actually uh, a horizontal pipeline of 100 meter and uh, it's set at uh, outlet boundary condition of 5 bar so what I need to, what I want to do is actually to shut down this uh, uh, pipeline and I would like to run it for five hours so I'm closing uh, I'm closing both the inlet and outlet valve at uh, 60 minutes so if you look at the opening time of for example the outlet it is open until 60 minutes and then I will I will close it in one minute uh, it's the same for the inlet this is open until 60 minutes and then uh, I'm closing it in five minutes uh, but the blowdown actually is not working so there is no leakage or whatsoever here uh, the set point uh, of this manual controller is set to zero so this manual controller is actually connected to the leak uh, controller uh, and the set point is uh, the set point is actually uh, setting the opening of the leak so when you put the set point to zero it means that the leak is out of the simulation and it's not really working uh, I'm running this case for five hours this means that I would like to keep uh, the line shut for some four hours and uh, if you look at the integration time it's five hours and uh, the thing that I need to explain here is, uh, is uh, I need uh, to set the steady state solver to off as well because the blow down the second line you have defined here has no um, has no has no mass source here so uh, the steady state solver has difficulties to solve uh, to, to start this case so I need to turn off the steady states and come to the initial conditions for these two lines so in the flow path blow down line I have defined the initial conditions uh, for all sections like 5 bar and void fraction of 1 and mass flow of 0 uh, this line at this point is not interesting for us because it's out of the simulation but for the second line which is the gas condensate line the initial conditions uh, I have defined is uh, like inlet temperature of 48 and outlet temperature of 10 and inlet pressure of 100 and outlet pressure of 60 with the void fractions of 85 percent in the beginning and 87 percent at the outlet so I start running this case this shutdown scenario and just uh, take a look at some uh, trend plots All right. simulation is done then I will come to uh, like the QLT and the gas condensate line um, at the outlet so here you see that uh, once you start the simulation uh, the QLT the, the, the flow starts to uh, the gas condensate starts to uh, flow inside the, the, the transport line and after 60 minutes when you close down the valves then this QLT reaches to zero uh, you can also take a look at temperature for example in the pipeline so it is start with 48 in the beginning uh, in the inlet and 10 degrees at the outlet and then 
when you start uh, to close down the valves the temperature of uh, the transport line starts to decrease as well to the ambient temperature uh, so this was the shutdown case so now I want to blow, the, blow down uh, all the hydrocarbon contents in the gas condensate line so I'll come to this second model then uh, what I do is uh, I just uh, set this set point of manual controller from 0 to some 80% or 90% uh, before that I need to define the location where this leak is actually leaking uh, so I have to come to this blow down line and then I need to define a position I just right click on that and I add a position which I have already added uh, so this was a mistake I don't need it all right the position is already created here so this is at pipe 1 section 1 which means that it's at the very beginning of the pipeline so when it comes to the leak I put the two position to the position that I have defined on the blow down line so the thing I want to have in this uh, uh, blow down scenario is that I do not like to have uh, the QLT the, the flow rate of uh, the blow down in this pipeline more than 800 uh, cubic meter per hour so if this is this is my criteria so uh, perhaps I need to op uh, to play a little bit, uh, play around with the opening of this uh, uh, leak through the controller uh, and through the set point. So I start with 90% of opening of the leak and see uh, how much QLT I would get in the pipeline. If this is bigger than 800, then I have to come back and reduce the set point. I start with 90% for the moment and I just... Uh, run the scenario and uh, actually I am running the case uh, from the results of the shutdown of course because uh, this is what I, w uh, I wanted to start from so you go to the restart and read the results from the previous shutdown case that you just did uh, alright 30 minutes is gone and then maybe I can start with plotting the QLT uh, in pipe 1 section 2 then just refresh it so you see in the beginning uh, the QLT is almost zero but when the leak starts to work uh, the contents uh, the liquid contents are, are coming into the blowdown and then it's uh, going above 800 which is not desired so I'll just uh, kill this simulation and then I go back then I go back to my uh, controller and set the set point to 80% for example where is my controller here it is and then I just come back to 80% and then I run it again and see how the QLT is behaving this time maybe I can refresh it at the same time as well all right uh, the liquids con liquid contents are coming to the blow down line then you see after 20 minutes it has reached its maximum of uh, 800 uh, cubic meter per hour which is good and it's not exceeding uh, exceeding uh, that value that much so we are happy with that then it starts to decrease again as uh, the liquid contents uh, are blowing down uh, off the blow down line and the gas condensate line as well uh, so so this was the way that you work with the manual controller in order to keep your uh, desired QLT or uh, whatever whatever you you're measuring in the, in the pipeline according to your desired value you need to play with the set point of the manual controller otherwise you may want to use the PID controller which is uh, very automatic so here I have used a PID controller instead of a manual controller so the PID controller has two connections 
uh, and uh, as you see I have a transmitter here as well so the transmitter is actually <coughs> is actually measuring the QLT and sending the measured value of the blow blow down line uh, to the PID controllers and the PID controllers is, is uh, checking uh, all the time instantaneously uh, with the value that you have put in the set point uh, in the PID controller so if you have put your set point uh, in the PID controller to 800 it means that uh, the PID controller does always check that uh, the value of the transmitter does not exceed the 800 uh, in the transmitter so the transmitter QLT cubic meter per hour is the unit make sure that the unit is uh, correct uh, the other settings for the PID controllers if I uh, click back on the PID controller uh, so I have uh, the set point of 800 and then I have the amplification of negative uh, 0.001 and the integral constant of 0.5 so if you want to know uh, the theory of the PID controllers and the, the equations uh, you may want to go to the help of Olga and take a look at uh, the PID parameters uh, but I have run the case with these parameters amplification and uh, integral constants and uh, it actually works good uh, so this is basically the same case uh, as before I, the only thing I have changed is this uh, controller so what I would like to do is just to run and uh, take a look at some trend plots and see how the PID controller is working I think I can, yeah, the other simulation is finished. So if I plot the contour plots of uh, the, the trend plot of uh, the controller for the lake, so you see in the beginning, before 22 minutes or 24 minutes, uh, the signals that the PID controller is sending to the lake is 100% uh, meaning that uh, it is allowing the leak to be 100% open before 24 minutes but as but as the QLT the total liquid volume flow of the of the blowdown is reaching some maximum value of 800 then the PID controller the PID controller is sending signals to the leak and it's asking the leak to be closing down so you see around 24 minutes uh, the leak starts to be closed down accordingly and then after 35 minutes the leak is again uh, opening up because uh, you have already passed the maximum 800 values and uh, uh, the maximum value has reached and then you see the decline in the trend plot of the QLT again. So this is how the PID controller is working, uh, communicating between the transmitter and uh, the leak here, and sending signals back and forth and controlling the uh, the liquid content or the QLT in the blowdown line. Um, I think I am done with this tutorial. I hope you have learned something and you have enjoyed it. Uh, so this is just the initiation of understanding uh, how these controllers are actually working. So if you want to know more about these controllers and understand it more in depth, uh, you need to set up the model yourself, uh, go to the tutorials and uh, read the manuals as well. Uh, I'll come back with more tutorials later. Thank you.